Welcome back to my channel. Check out my new storefront on hailonearth.co slash shop. Thank you so much for being here. Go ahead and roll out your mats, get comfortable, and let's begin. Today we're going to get into the side body. So what I want you to do is first lie flat on your back, knees pointed towards the sky. Once you've gotten to this position, we're gonna settle into our bodies, feeling the ground beneath us. You can place one hand on your stomach and one hand on your heart, feeling the rhythm of your breath, attuning to your own heartbeat. On your next inhale, Let's go ahead and bring our knees towards our chest, coming into a tight little ball. We're gonna begin class in some stretches to stretch out the side body before we get into some work. So go ahead and drop both knees towards the right, left hand extended out towards the left, coming into this gentle twist. Amazing stretch for the entire mid body. Good way to warm up the spine today. During today's practice, really try to stay focused on the breath, sending it to the areas of tension and allow it to release. Let's go ahead and move our legs now towards the left, using that left hand to anchor our knees onto the ground, extending the right arm off towards the right. Breathe into this spinal stretch. Feel how amazing it feels to open up the spine in this way. Go ahead and bring the knees back to center and we're going to release them down towards the ground, engaging our core in four, three, two, one. Excellent. So let's go ahead and reach our hands above our head, allow the pointer fingers to be released. And we're gonna get into our next side body stretch here, banana pose. So what you're going to do is move your feet over towards the left corner of the mat, move your arms over towards the left corner of the mat and shift your hips towards the right, creating a banana-like pose on the mat here. It's an extremely windy day today in Miami, so you might notice my mat flying about today. Excellent, let's now move over towards the other side, bringing the feet towards the right corner of the mat, hands towards the right corner of the mat, and then our hips are off towards the left, creating a banana shape on the ground, getting into that left side body. Should feel so good all the way from the shoulders down towards the hips an amazing side opening stretch here and so simple to do just look like a banana let's go ahead now and come back to center stretch the arms out over top of your head and then engage the core vertebra by vertebra come all the way up and we'll get into a quick seated forward fold getting into the hamstrings a little bit here Breathing into that area of the body, our low back as well. And then on the next inhale, come all the way up. Place your hands behind your lower back and come into a cross-legged seated position. I'm going to turn my body so I'm facing you guys, but you can stay exactly where you are. Let's inhale the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, let's get into our side body stretch, releasing the right hand beside the right hip lifting the left arm towards the sky. On your next inhale, cartwheel the arms over the head, getting into now the left side body. Reaching the right arm over the head. One more time on either side. Inhale, cartwheel the arms. Plant the right hand beside the left, the right hip, sorry. stretch into the side body and last time coming over to the other side reach 
Make sure both sit bones are staying on the mat during this stretch. And then let's just go ahead and place our palms atop our knees and do some seated cat cows. Inhale, push forward. Exhale, curve the spine, come back. Inhale again. Open the chest towards the sky. Exhale, curve the spine. Last one here, inhale and exhale. Remember to pair your movement with breath. Let's do some body rolls, 360 movement with the spine a couple of times clockwise. And then just going in the other direction, engaging the neck if it feels good. Just really let yourself loose here. Great movement of the spine that holds our core and our side body up. Let's go ahead and plant our hands and come into all four position. And we're gonna get into our next side body stretch. So I want you to place your hands over towards the left and sink the hips towards the left as well, creating a C-like shape with the body, opening the right side body here. Excellent, let's go ahead and switch sides, moving the hands now towards the right, toes slightly towards the right, and leaning towards the left, creating a C-like shape with the body. Should feel so good along the shoulders and obliques area. Come on back to center, all fours position, and drop down onto your elbows. We're gonna come into our first elbow plank here, engaging the core. Curl the toes, lift the hips up. If this plank is not within your practice, just go ahead and drop the knees down towards the mat. This is always available for you throughout practice today in any of our planks. If you'd like more of a challenge, come all the way up onto your hands. And from here, we're gonna engage into some spider crunches, crunching the left knee to left elbow, right knee to right elbow. Keep it going, left knee, left elbow, right knee, right elbow. Awesome, chaturanga arms down towards the mat. Come into an upward facing dog or a cobra if upward is too early in the practice. And then push your hips back, coming into downward facing dog. Go ahead and get comfortable in your downward dog, swaying your hips from side to side. And then take a breath of stillness. Inhale your right leg up towards the sky and I want you to open your hip by stacking your hips on top of each other and reaching that right foot towards the right glute. This is another great side body stretch and good for the hip. Inhale, bring the right leg back up towards the sky and then release it to downward dog. Let's switch sides here. Left leg comes up, stack the hips. Reach that left foot towards the left glute, opening up that left shoulder, the left side body. Awesome work. Inhale, straight leg all the way up and exhale, release it down to downward facing dog. Inhale, come up onto your tippy toes and on your exhale, tippy toe towards the front of your mat until your feet meet your hands. Allow yourself to just dangle here for a moment and then inhale, come all the way up. Hands reach above your head and then find your hands into a clasp. Place the palm of your hands at the back of your head, elbows wide. Inhale, we're going to step the right foot behind the left foot, coming on a diagonal here. And we're gonna get into a funky little stretch by stretching the right elbow towards the sky kind of into a side crunch on the left side. And then with control, we're gonna bring that right knee towards the right elbow, getting into that oblique. Step the right foot behind the left once more, stretch the right side body. And on your exhale, work on your balance here and try to reach that right knee towards the right elbow, getting into that right oblique. One more time, step the right foot behind the left, get into a side stretch, and then work that oblique by bringing the right knee to the right elbow. Excellent work, it's extremely challenging on our balance, so if you were even able to do one of those, that's incredible. Bring the right knee towards the chest and then bring it down to meet the left. 
Inhale the arms up towards the sky and exhale, find our forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold and go ahead and step both feet back coming to the top of our plank. Remember here you can come down to your elbows and drop your knees if you cannot come into a full plank with straight arms. We're going to come into a side plank so move your, all your weight onto your right hand and reach the left arm towards the sky. From here slide the left foot up towards the right knee, hold, and then place the left foot in front of the right knee and inhale stretch the left arm over top of the left ear, getting into the side body. Inhale, stretch, exhale, drop the hips down. Inhale, full side stretch, exhale with control, release the hips down. One more time, inhale, stretch out the left side body and with control, bring your hips down. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, you can either stay right here or come into wild thing by planting your left foot behind you. Inhale, reach the chest towards the sky. Beautiful wild thing pose. I'm going to show a quick modification if wild thing is not in your practice. Come down onto your elbow, foot, left foot planted behind you and just reach the left arm towards the sky. Same similar effect, trying to bend the spine and open the chest. If you're with me in wild thing, let's gently come out of it by coming back into our side plank, working on our balance here with our obliques, and then dropping the left hand to meet the right, coming into our full body plank. Exhale, chaturanga arms all the way down towards our stomach, and then just plant the fingertips outside the mat and let's engage into some nice cobra body rolls. Moving with the breath, inhale, press into the fingers, come all the way up, open the chest. Exhale, float the body down, moving through the spine. Do that one more time. And then press the hips up and come into our downward facing dog. We'll stay here for a cycle of breath. And then inhale up onto your tippy toes, tippy toe towards the front of the mat. Come into a gentle forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, exhale, fold. Inhale, come all the way up and we're going to go through that oblique stretch and strengthen once more. Go ahead and step the left foot on a diagonal behind the right, lean towards the right, opening the left side body. And then with control, lift the left knee and try to touch it to your left elbow. Excellent, step back once more, stretch the side body. And then try to engage the core and hit the left elbow with the left knee. Excellent, one more time, stretch the side body. And then lift the left knee to touch the left elbow. Really awesome once more, guys. This is super challenging balance stretch and strengthen. Hug the left knee towards the chest and release it down. Inhale the arms up, exhale forward fold. Inhale halfway lift, exhale, let's get into the other side. Step both feet behind you and top of your plank. I'm going to switch sides here so I stay facing you. Remember to come down onto your elbows and open into a side plank. Remember, you can also drop your knee down like I'm showing here or stay up on your hand for the challenge. Remember to do what feels best for you. Inhale, slide the right foot up towards the left knee and then place the right foot in front of the body, opening the right side body by reaching the right arm in front of you. Exhale, release the hips down. Inhale, stretch the side body. Exhale with control, release the hips. Inhale, stretch, exhale, release. One more time, inhale, stretch. And then if wild thing is within your practice, step the right foot back to plank and then step it behind you, opening the chest towards the sky in our wild thing pose. Remember, you can do the modification if this is too challenging for you. 
you will get there with practice. Go ahead now and come back to center. Step the right foot gently with control atop the left. Come into our full plank and exhale chaturanga arms towards the mat. Coming into a cobra or upward facing dog. And exhale, push back into child's pose. That was an amazing series. I hope you feel it a little bit in your core and you're building some heat in the body. Let's get into some more stretching. Go ahead and walk your hands towards the left side of the mat, feeling the stretch along the right side. Breathe into your shoulder, releasing tension here. And then let's go ahead and walk through center, walking the hands now towards the right side, breathing into the opposite side body, allowing the breath to flow evenly. Excellent, go ahead and walk the hands back towards the center, child's pose, and then come all the way forward, tucking the toes and pushing the hips back into downward facing dog. Inhale, reach the right foot up towards the sky. Bend the knee, open the hip, and then pull the right knee forward top of our mat. Inhale, find high crescent lunge. And exhale, we're gonna open it into warrior two. Check your alignment here, stay strong through the core, and then get into our side body stretching. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle. Inhale, reverse warrior, moving through the core here. Exhale, side angle. One more time. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, you're going to bring both your arms parallel to each other on an angle, framing out your head engaging the core and then go ahead and straighten the right knee hinge forward from the hips engaging the core until you reach that right arm down towards the ground reaching the left arm up coming into a triangle pose remember to stay long through the side body here inhale reach the left arm back reverse triangle and exhale, cartwheel the arms down towards the ground, framing out the right foot, pivot on the back foot, drop the knee, find low lunge. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, plant the hands, push the hips back, find a quick runner's lunge, reaching the forehead towards the knee. Inhale, come back forward, low lunge. And this time, plant your hands, your fingertips, about a foot in front of your right foot. You're going to inhale, leap forward, coming into a standing splits pose, reaching that left leg towards the sky. We're going to do some Shiva squats. So inhale, exhale, left knee to the forehead. Inhale, straight left leg. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to forehead. One more time. Inhale and exhale, crunch it out. Excellent. Last one. Inhale, exhale, crunch it out. Extend the leg behind you and stay here with your fingertips on the mat or for an added challenge, float your fingertips off, coming into warrior three with your hands at your heart. Awesome, bring the left leg to meet the right. Inhale, arms up towards the sky. And exhale, dive forward, forward fold. That was amazing. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, go ahead and step both feet back, top of your plank. Chaturanga arms down towards your mat. Or come all the way down into cobra. Upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Amazing, let's switch sides here. Inhale, the left leg up towards the sky. Exhale, bring the knee through to the front of your mat, planting it between your hands, high crescent lunge. 
sink deep into that left knee and then open up warrior two. Feel strong in your warrior two. Stay with the breath here. Inhale, drop the right arm towards the back, reverse warrior. Exhale, side angle pose. Inhale, reverse warrior. And exhale, side angle, moving through the core. Make sure you're engaging your obliques here. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. And then go ahead and bring your hands and your arms parallel to each other, straight out from your shoulders, engage the core, and then straighten the left leg. Stay with the arms and hinge forward, dropping the left hand towards the left ankle, opening the right arm towards the sky triangle pose. Stay long through the torso here. Do not cave into the side body. Inhale, reverse triangle. And exhale, float the arms down, frame out the left foot, pivot on the right foot, bend into the left knee, low lunge. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, frame out the left knee, push back into runner's lunge. Quick stretch in the hamstring, hinge forward. And then inhale, come back into your low lunge. Place your fingertips about a foot in front of your left foot and go ahead and just catapult yourself forward into a standing splits. Doesn't matter how high your leg is off the ground here, guys. You can place a micro bend in that left knee and let's get into our Shiva squats. Inhale, right leg long. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, exhale, keep it up. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to forehead. Inhale, straighten. Exhale, knee to forehead. Getting into that core. Inhale, straighten. Excellent. Stay here or float the fingertips up into warrior three. Really difficult balancing pose here. Awesome job. And now bring the right leg, meaning the left. Amazing. Inhale the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, let's release it all the way down with control. With control, go ahead and drop all the way down onto your glutes and come into a boat pose. I'm gonna shift a little bit backwards here on my mat so I'm centered. Let's bring our hands together into a clasp and do some switches. Right, left, right, left. Stay with the breath. Right, left, keep it going. Awesome, go ahead and release, coming into boat, hold. Three, two, one, awesome. Go ahead and drop the head back, come onto your back, bringing the knees towards your chest. Incredible core work today. We're almost done with the core. We're doing some final exercises here on the ground. Left leg long and straight, right leg straight towards the sky. Place your palms behind your head, elbows wide, and we're gonna crunch it out. Right knee to the right elbow, twisting using the core. You can keep your knees bent here if it's easier for you. If not, keep them straight and reach that right elbow to the right knee. Awesome, switch sides here. We're gonna do left elbow to the left knee, really twisting in that core, keep it up. Last one. Let's bend the knees and bicycle it out, guys. Awesome. Switching sides here, engaging that core, really twisting through the core muscles. Last one, both sides here. Awesome. Go ahead and release. Bring the knees towards your chest. And let's get into some final side stretches here letting it feel good on the body. Release the feet down towards the ground. And let's move our knees towards the right side of the mat first. 
coming into the twists we did at the beginning of class here. Holding them for a little longer as we really stretch the side body. Final releases here. Let it feel good on the body, settle in the energy. We did some amazing work with the body today. Let's bring the knees now over towards the other side. Stretching the opposite side, getting some final movement in the spine. Stay even with the breath, enjoying the final minutes of class together. Feel gratitude towards the capabilities of your body as you continue to build a stronger, more mobile and flexible body. You're also building a stronger mind. Let's go ahead and bring our knees back up and we're going to release into Shavasana. You can bring your legs into a V-like shape in Supta Vata Konasana or traditional Shavasana with the legs long. Wherever you are, I want you to feel like you're taking up space as you deservingly can in this world, in your life, every day. I want you to tune into the energy that you've cultivated within you and around you. Energy that will carry you throughout the day. Stay in the energy of awe and wonder. Always curious to see what you're capable of and what the universe has in store for you. Every day is a new opportunity to be better than the last, to experience something new, to be inspired without sweating the details or thinking about what you need to overcome. Just be and trust that the great energy of source will always guide you. Let's start bringing some movement into our body. Bring our knees towards our chest and slowly meet in a seated position in the middle of our mat. Let's take one final breath together, inhaling our arms up towards the sky and exhale, placing them down towards our hearts. The light in me forever honors the light that continues to exist in you. Namaste.